Thank you very much, Mr. Luis Morales, for the kind introduction. A very pleasant day to everyone. My story begins on the day I started to take The Road Less Traveled. The Road Less Traveled is a book written by M. Scott Peck. It is a very inspiring book with a lot of lessons to learn from it. But I'm not here to talk about the book. However, in the context of my short talk, I would like to pattern my story on the poem written by Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken. I have always loved literature, spending sleepless nights reading novels and interpreting poems. However, I was also really good, actually very, very good in math and the sciences. These two roads diverge, and I could not take them both. And be one traveler, long I stood and looked down as far as I could until I finally decided to take electronics engineering for my career. In 1972, when I entered engineering, one can count the number of women taking engineering with one's fingers. I feel so grateful that I was treated with care by thoughtful and kind male classmates. I remember most especially my class in drawing when all my male classmates would finish their drawing plates within 30 minutes of a three hour class. So they would all gather around me and patiently teach me how to project an isometric diagram. And they would put small coins on one side of my triangle so that my drawing pen would not blot my plate. Most probably the younger generation cannot relate to this now since we have computer aided design tools to do this for us. In return, I would teach my classmates uh, the, in physics. My father created that dent in my love for physics. He did not finish college, but he had these books delivered at home. It's all about mechanics. Then my t physics teacher deepened this love for physics. He would always tell me to do it. Just do it. I was so passionate about electric circuits and experimenting. Words are not sufficient to express the excitement I felt about engineering. It is the excitement of solving problems, the excitement of creating something new, something that didn't exist at all. It is the excitement of creating technologies that help us to do more to achieve more, to be more, and to unlock our greatest potential. Like the lesson learned in the road less travel, we make a difference and make yourself better. Go take the road to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM for short. I was extraordinarily passionate about enticing the youth to pursue a career in STEM. I would bring science demonstration modules to other parts of the country. I dedicated much of my time in establishing robotics for the youth. Technology is changing so fast, from the basic transistor to computers to smartphones to the use of artificial intelligence, data science, and many other scientific innovations and technologies, and to their applications in air, land, sea, and space. And with these emerging technologies comes the need for more people to fill up the pipeline, to work together as a team. There is a call for more women to contribute to this workforce. Creativity and innovations thrive in a diverse environment. We call on a diverse group of people who can voice out their thoughts and ideas, find solutions to saving lives, 
working on solutions that could save the world. I am happy and proud that I am a part of a community of scientists and engineers involved in advancing technology for the betterment of the humanity. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverge in a wood and I. I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. Thank you. <laughs>